Nikola Zijek, Serbian Cyrillic, Nikolic, born the 25th of September 1980, is a Serbian footballer who plays as a centre forward at 2.02 metres, 6 feet 7 and 1 half in. Zijic is among the tallest professional players in the world. Zijic started his career in the youth academy at Hake Bakitapala in 1991, and joined the senior side in 1998. During his time at the club, he scored 68 goals in 76 league matches, before leaving in 2001 for Morna. He spent one season at Morna, scoring 15 goals in 23 league games before switching to Kolubar in 2002, scoring three goals in eight league games. A brief spell at Spartak Subotica in 2003 followed, where he scored 14 goals in 11 league games. He joined first league of Serbia and Montenegro side Red Star Belgrade in 2003, and made 110 appearances for them, scoring 71 goals. A move to Spain in August 2006 followed, with Zijic joining La Liga side racing Santander. He spent a single season at Santander, scoring 11 goals in 33 games, before signing for La Liga side Valencia in August 2008. He scored 14 goals in 46 games, but was rarely the first choice striker, and he spent most of the 2008-09 season on loan to racing Santander scoring 13 goals in 19 games during his second spell at the club. Zijic joined Premier League club Birmingham City in 2010. In his first season, he scored in Birmingham's League Cup win, and despite their relegation to the championship, remained with the club for a further three years until his contract expired. He made his senior international debut for Serbia and Montenegro in June 2005, and has since won 57 caps for his country scoring 20 goals. He was part of both the 2006 FIFA World Cup and 2010 FIFA World Cup squads, and briefly captained his country in 2011. Following the breakup of Serbia and Montenegro in 2006, he has played internationally for Serbia. Zijic began with modest local teams, netting at an impressive rate, after which he joined bigger club Red Star Belgrade in January 2003. During his years at the club, he played 110 matches and scored 71 goals in all competitions, cup, league and European competitions. On 29 August 2006, Zijic signed a four-year contract with Spanish side Racing de Santander. On 1 April 2007, he scored his first hat-trick in La Liga, in a 5-4 win over Athletic Bilbao. While at Racing, he formed a formidable duo with diminutive veteran forward Pedro Munitis, and netted 12 league goals during the 2006-07 season. Valencia On 8 August 2007, Sky Sports understood that Valencia CF had offered Racing €19 million Euros for Zijek, handing the player a lucrative five-year contract. Numerous other clubs, such as SV Werder Bremen and Manchester City attempted to sign him. But Valencia eventually signed the player, announcing the £20 million deal on their official website the following day. After passing a medical the next day, Zijic was introduced at the Estadio Mesula. Zijic's first goal for Valencia came in a Spanish Cup match against Real Union, adding another to turn the match around as Valencia won 2-1. However he was unsuccessful in nailing down a starting place in the team under coach Ronald Koeman, who mostly used him as a sub or not at all. His first and only league goal came on the 22nd of December 2007 at Real Zaragoza, as Valencia again came from behind and earned a 2-2 draw. A loan to English club Portsmouth was mooted but Komen changed his mind about the player leaving. After some speculation regarding moves to the Premier League, and a thwarted loan return to former side racing Santander, Zijic finally agreed to stay and fight for a place in 2008-09's Valencia. Eventually, after having failed to appear in any league matches, being restricted to domestic and UEFA Cup matches, and scoring in both competitions, he was loaned in late December 2008 to former side Santander. In June 2009, there were rumours of a move to Sunderland, but nothing came of it. Zijic was then loaned to a former team, Racing, 
until the end of the season. On the 4th of January 2009, in his first game in his second spell with the Cantabrians, Zijek scored the game's only goal in a win at Real Valladolid, repeating the feat in a win at Getafe CF, two match days later, and again the following week on 25 January away at Sevilla FC. He finished his second spell with 13 goals in only 19 matches, squad best, and subsequently returned to Valencia where he continued to be rarely used in the league. Profiting from a rare chance in the league with a Che, Zijek headed in the only goal of the game at home to RC Diaz Panal on 2 January 2010, in the 93rd minute. On 13 January, he added a brace at Deportivo de la Coruna in the 2009-10 Copa del Rey to put Valencia 2-0 up at half-time, in an eventual 2-2 draw, 4-3 aggregate loss. On a more positive note, he replaced starter David Villa at Hispanol on 1 May and scored both goals in a 2-0 win, both with his feet. Birmingham City On 25 May 2010, Zijic signed a four-year contract with Premier League club Birmingham City for an undisclosed fee. Media speculation suggested the fee to be in the region of £6 million. He made his debut on the opening day of the season away at Sunderland replacing Gary O'Connor in the 58th minute, he came close to scoring from outside the penalty area and injected a note of panic hitherto undetected in the home team's defence as Birmingham came back from 2-0 down to secure a draw. Zijek's first goal for the club came as Birmingham beat Milton Keynes Dons 3-1 in the League Cup on 21 September. He scored his first Premier League goal on 16 October opening the scoring at Arsenal with a header from a Keith Fay cross, but Birmingham lost the game 2-1. His fourth goal of the campaign was the 84th minute winner as Birmingham progressed to the League Cup semi-final at the expense of local rivals Aston Villa. He scored the opening goal in the 2011 Football League Cup final with a short-range header as Birmingham defeated favourites Arsenal 2-1 at Wembley Stadium on 27 February 2011. Because of niggling hip and groin injuries, Zijek made only two more substitute appearances. His absence deprived the team of what the Birmingham Mail's reporter called their most effective style, getting the ball forward early pressing up the pitch and playing off him, as they were relegated to the championship. Zijek's first goal in the championship gave Birmingham a 1-0 win against Leeds United in October 2011. Away to Leeds in January 2012, Zijek scored all four goals as Birmingham came back from 1-0 behind to win 4-1. He began the 2012-13 season with a goal in the fourth minute of stoppage time to gain a point for Birmingham at home to Charlton Athletic on the opening day. On 15 February 2013, Birmingham manager Lee Clark publicly criticised Zijek for producing possibly the worst training session in terms of a professional footballer I have ever come across. Despite knowing he was due to start the forthcoming game against Watford, up until this incident, Clark had used Zijek more often as substitute than starter. He had scored six league goals at a rate of one goal every 165 minutes and been sent off twice. Clark said that Zajek would not be involved against Watford, but that it was in Nicola's hands as to whether he would prepare properly for the Sheffield Wednesday fixture three days later. On the last day of the 2013-14 season, Birmingham needed at least a draw away at Bolton Wanderers and for other results to favour them to avoid relegation to League One. Two goals down with 12 minutes left, Zajek scored and three minutes into stoppage time, his close-range header was cleared off the line to Paul Caddis, who headed home to preserve Birmingham's second-tier status. He left the club when his contract expired at the end of the season. International career Although he attracted much attention for his performances with Red Star in the Serbo-Montenegrin League, Zijek only gained a regular place in the national team in mid-2005, after having made his debut the previous year under coach Ilya Petkovic. He scored a couple of goals in some friendlies, but it was his substitute appearance in a crucial 2006 FIFA World Cup qualifier against Spain in Madrid in September 2005 that brought him international recognition. After an atrocious first half at the Vicente Calderon Stadium, 
during which Serbia Montenegro rarely crossed the center line, only being 1 to 0 down. Coach Patkovic threw Zajek into the mix, and his towering presence up front changed the flow of the match instantly. He would later set up the equalizer, also providing Matija Kesman with a 2 to 1 chance but the ball was clipped wide of Ike Kazila's gaping half-empty net. However, Serbia got the key away point and confirmed their World Cup qualification at home in Belgrade versus Bosnia and Herzegovina, with Zijic again nicely setting up Kesman for the game's only goal. Zijic's only start at the 2006 World Cup came in the nation's final Group C match, when the team was already eliminated. He scored an early goal in the 10th minute of the first half off a long ball from Dijin Stankovic against Cote d'Ivoire, in a 3-2 loss. Still an automatic choice under new national manager J.V. Clementi, his form took a dip. On 24 March 2007, Zijic received a red card during the Euro 2008 qualifying match against Kazakhstan seconds before the end of the game. This caused him to miss the home game against Portugal. He also missed the match against Finland on 2 June 2007 after surgery on a facial injury received on 27 May. Also playing a crucial role during the 2010 World Cup qualifiers partnering up with Marco Pantelic scoring three important goals on the way to Serbia's first qualification of a major tournament as an independent nation. He represented his country in the 2010 World Cup. On 17 November 2010, he scored the winning goal against Bulgaria in a friendly match, which was held in Sofia, but was sent off for a second yellow card shortly before the conclusion of the game. Also scoring three goals in Euro 2012 qualifiers against Faroe Islands. Slovenia and Estonia. Zijek was appointed captain of the national team when Dijin Stankovic and Neman Javidic retired from international football after Serbia failed to qualify for Euro 2012. He captained the team in friendly defeats to Mexico and Honduras in 2011, but, as of June 2014, has not featured for his country since.